Hey guys, Tattoo for You Richard here, and it is time again for Tuesday Spectacular Advent. Or I'm just going to do a work on that conversion some more. It's a Tau Tabulous Tuesday, Tau Tacular Day, Tau Dally Tau Some Day. It's a Tuesday, dude, and I'm just going to work on that conversion a little bit and show you where I'm at. So, I did some stuff. The boring stuff that I wasn't going to show, like, take forever. Hey, watch me saw. <laughs> and that's what happens. Oh. Um, no, seriously, I got the wings tripped, trimmed off. The wings and then the rear wing, the rear uh, stabilizing wings, too. Um, I did a couple other things. No, I didn't do a couple other things. I glued some stuff together, going to start some stuff. And uh, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to go table down. My kid's being ridiculous right now. Um, ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're going to go table down, and I'm going to show you pretty much where I'm at, work a little bit on it, and kind of let you feel the process I'm doing, and then we're going to end it today. It's not going to be a long video. These aren't going to be huge spectacularly long videos even though in the beginning i said it's gonna be glorious and, uh, ha, 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 ha. that's just to pique your interest so yeah here we go table down let's do this all right guys here we go table down um first i want to show i found my landing gear so i get to do the landing gear part of this later um don't need that right now so um like i said i cut off the wings so here's the main body. Also, we have my hand in the way. I'm gonna pull out one of them. We have one of the rear uh, stabilizers. Now when I cut them off, they... <coughs> Let's see, I don't even know which side it comes on. They're down angled, they're angled down like this. Hey, sorry guys, I got a phone call. Um, so yeah, here's the down wing. Uh, so what I do is usually when I cut them off is I just flip them over to the other side because I want them angled up. I'm not, I don't worry about that right there at all. Uh, if anything, I may put a little green stuff in there or something to fill it out and smooth it out. But honestly, I don't really care too much. It's just a little texture thing. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be like this. And then what I'm thinking on the wings, normally this is where they are on my Razor Shark. For the fighter plane, I shift them back just a little bit, about yay far, and put them on. But for this one, the bomber, I'm going to bring them back pretty much all the way to here. Okay. And so what I'm going to have to do is, um, in the instructions, while you're doing this, let me get this little tilt, quit this tilt from happening. When you put this together, like I've showed you before, here's what it looks like underneath. So I'm going to have that still looking like that. But with this uh, wing back here like this, I could potentially, no, it, it's got to stay flat. So you're going to have that gap in there. So what I'll probably do is I'll bring some plastic card. Well, okay, no, no, I can't, I can't talk about that yet because... Here is my other issue. Um, I'm going to figure this out, and I'm going to have it done by next time, but I'm just showing you where I'm, where I'm standing. So here, right here, you have the little uh, doors in the wings. And normally, they use this piece here, and they hinge, and that is this piece right in here. They use that right there as a little uh, brace, and then this would come just like that and then you'd only glue that little piece on and you could hinge the door open okay I should be this side over here sorry so yeah it would sit there like that and with that little uh, piece covering it you could slide it up just to open it up and that's where the missile would be so I still want the missiles to be in there and I kind of still want that to work if at all possible um, I mean, if it doesn't in the long run, if I have to glue it, that's fine. No, no big deal. The Razor Shark, I just magnetized the missiles to the underside so that way I could um, 
show them as being used or not. You know, when I launch two, two seeker missiles. So then this goes like this. So what I'm going to end up doing back here, I have to see where the bomb fits and how it all fits, or the, the bomb bay and everything. Once I get it glued on, I'm probably going to cut out some notches and stuff and then put those housings back on here to hold it here and make see if I can make this work. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% certain I can make it work, but I'm still going to try at least just to see if I can. So, um, yeah, really, that's where I'm at on the conversion. Um, what I'm probably going to do is pause the video now. Um, this is actually, I started recording this on Monday night. Um, so I'm probably going to pause the video now. And then tomorrow, I'll actually work some more on it, like start actually gluing things in place and getting things set up. That way I can kind of plan a little bit more out. Because I'm still going to have to put some plastic card over here. Um, and decide whether or not I'm if I need to do any kind of texturing, which I probably won't. I'll probably just smooth it straight across. So, but yeah, like I said, I'll probably do some stuff like that. And then uh, when you come back, you'll see a little bit more of it. So we'll see. You all, all you cool cats we're back. Um, I did quite a bit on. Ugh, let me get the marker out of my mouth. Um, quite a bit on stuff. What I did is I got the wings pretty much set up and ready. I uh, did start a little drilling in there to see about the landing gear. You know, uh, this is too long. I'm probably going to trim this down a bit, um, but have that right there. So that's first so I can just set it up and have it not on this flight stand if I want. Um, but yeah, I got both those ready to go. I uh, haven't drilled this one yet. So these wings are pretty much done. Um, so we got this section I went ahead and put the cockpit on the bomber cockpit um, got the bottom base on or the underside uh, what I'm going to do with this here this is your flight stand pieces where you tuck your flight stand in um, it's in the box I'm not even gonna grab it out right now but it has a cover that you put on here it's this piece right here so that's what it looks like underside so you'd snap that on if you didn't want it uh, if you didn't have it on a flight stand for whatever reason, like you want to, I hang this from my ceiling because it looks cool. I want to do that with a lot of mine. But um, I am going to instead use that piece for the other landing strut. So I'm going to cut and trim that and have this mounted into it somehow, just glue it on. I won't need a magnet or anything. So that way I can just put that bottom piece on and then have it, What's going to happen is these wings are going to be back here. So then you'll have the landing gear here, however far back that goes, and then the front gear up here. So we'll have that little trifecta landing. I'm still working on the positioning of these wings, however they're going to go. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do while I came back onto the camera is we have a lip here like this. So the plastic card sits on it. Now the deal is I have this sheet of plastic card. This is the size I'm going to use. I'm not sure what thickness this is. Um, this is one mil, maybe one millimeter. Yeah, it looks about one millimeter. Um, thick styrene plastic card, whatever you call it. Um, so... I, in order to get this properly cut out to the right shape I need, am going to use a... I have some stuff in my tattoo cabinet, um, but for one, I don't feel like going to getting it, and two, it's a pain in the butt to get to. Um, it's a this sticky stuff, it's called barrier film, and what we used to do when I tattoo is you take the barrier film, you would put it on somebody's old existing tattoo if they wanted to... Um, add to it, like add off of it, and you need to know the shape, like where the edges of it are, or if somebody wanted to cover up, you'd put that on there, and you'd use a marker and trace over it. So what I'm going to do now is take this, lay it across the top of here, and I'm going to use a Sharpie, and I'm going to trace the pattern, you know, so that way I can get the, the right idea, you know. So it's hard to do around the camera, so I'm just going to kind of show you 
so I'm gonna follow that edge. Holy smokes, I did it on camera. I drew a straight line. Wowzer. Um, now here comes the hard part, is the curve. But I'm gonna come and I'm gonna follow this curve here too. And then follow this swoop. Which tapers off towards the back. So then what that does is give me the shape I need to cut out here. And where's the lid to the Sharpie? So there. So that's the shape plastic card I need. All right. So what I'll do is I'll lay that on there and get the idea and probably just cut out around it. And I'll use, try to use edges where I can. So that way I can keep a good straight edge on it. Um, but then I'll use either retrace the other side to make sure it's correct and just make sure I know that this is the uh, left side and the right side, but they should technically match. So I'll probably just do a mirror image on the other side. But yeah, I wanted to just kind of show you that little trick and uh, see how see how I show you how I show you how I don't know how to talk. That was the reason I did this. But I, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing and how I do this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and then we'll come All back. Right, it's gonna be my last little bit of updating for today. Um, so what I did, I've got the styrene cut out. And uh, I mean, to get these curves, I can't cut a curve with an X-Acto knife to save my life. I couldn't cut a curve out of a paper bag. Um, so I used my scissors. It's one mil um, styrene, so it's pretty easy to cut. I just cut a little bit bigger and then kind of shave it down just a hair. Um, these scissors are amazing. I love these guys. I've had them for years. I even at one point Orky checkered boarded them. Um, but I use these at my tattoo shop all the time. These are what I cut stencils and stuff with. Um, I even one time cut my hand right there. Just poop. That was a terrible, terrible feeling. Terrible. Oh my gosh. So what happens when you're sitting there going like this? I'm gonna hold something like this and come in and cut and not realize you were a little too close. So, yeah, more battle wounds. So yeah, so I got that down and on there and then that's gonna be a flat edge for me to glue this on and work with this um, to kind of figure out what's gonna be where, like how things are gonna mount properly. Um, what I'll more than likely do is that's something I'm going to do. I'll get these wings glued on off camera and then the next update will show you where we're at. Um, because I'm going to have another thing to work on and that's getting these doors to, uh, to work. But like I was saying earlier, these doors go in and they're supposed to be hinged so you can open them. Now, like I said, I just have to figure out how to make that work. If I, if I can't make it work, they'll just be glued shut. That's why I haven't put the uh, missiles on yet because they're supposed to be mounted right there. And the way I was looking at it is if I could get this to open and close, I'll go ahead and just glue the missiles in. And then we know if, okay, one's used, I'm gonna make sure I just keep it shut. You know, that one's used, the other one's still good. Um, but if it don't get it to work, I'm just going to magnetize them underneath here somehow. Probably like I did on the last one. I just literally put a little magnet in there and they boop, stick on just like that. So, so yeah, so that's where we're at, man. Um, when we come back, I'll probably work on this issue uh, next week. And that's what you'll see as you slowly tilt your head down. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this bit of Conversion Corner. So, until next time, my friends, as you look at this wonderful mess of Disaster Zone, uh, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, business stuff, whatever. Um, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you like this. If you have any other questions or whatnot, um, I'm really, man, oh, man, have you ever just looked at a kit and thought, wow, the possibilities. Oh my goodness. If you're not familiar, I did a while back, I did my Arvis, Arvis Lighter conversion showcase. 
where I used bits from the Stormhawk, Storm Talon gun thing, I think, the Storm Talon kit, the smaller kit, whatever, the Storm Raven, and then the uh, Valkyrie cargo compartment, and I used all those bits to make an Arvis lighter, it, well, you know, my version of it. Um, well, recently, since uh, the new ship came out, which is the Storm Raven kit with some ex with an extra sprue, I'm like, oh my gosh, give me one of those kits and give me a Valkyrie kit, and this this boy is gonna go to town and make something fantastic. <laughs> that ooh wow, I like I like have my creative juices are flowing. If for whatever reason I get some spare cash and I'm able to buy those two kits, that's expensive because it's almost a hundred dollars in kits. I'm sure. Um, I I will definitely have a conversion moment on that. We'll step away from Tal for a minute and do something different. But um, I do have a couple other things I want to do. Like if I could get uh, get the chance to get on eBay um, or whatever uh, a couple of Devilfish or Hammerhead kits. I have an idea for something that's non-military related that I want to build for my ultimate diorama. I have a couple of uh, Tau uh, Forge World pilot figures, the flight cast, that I'm going to paint up in like kind of an orange, a yellow and an orange outfit. There'll be other colors on it, but I want them to look like uh, engineers, so to speak. And I want to use the gun, the hammerhead gunship, the hammerhead, and the tie, the the two hammerhead kits. Use your words, Richard. Use your words, and probably a few other bits that I can come up with. But I want to build a thing that looks like would come and carry down, like say, uh, Warsenal has this this these uh, habitat kits where you make like it looks like a you would see like a colony like it is put on and set up for like colonizing a planet well I want to do something where I make a ship that looks like it would carry that and even get that that uh that wouldn't that MDF kit and rig up magnets to where I can mount that on the bottom of it as part of it dreaming kids I'm a, I'm a dreamer I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one um so everybody knows that reference so anyway, man, I, I've got tons of ideas, um, and I'm working on getting some cash to make them come through, kids. Uh, so yeah, if, feel free to keep watching, uh, liking, and all that stuff, and keep motivating me to push myself harder on my hobby stuff. I love you guys. Um, y'all, y'all take care, man. Just, just keep up and keep that nerd life going, kids. It's, it's, it's what pushes us all and keeps us all happy. Love you. Take care. Happy nerd life.